Hello and welcome to Bump Love. If you're new here, kindly do subscribe and hit the bell so you receive notifications every Friday when a new episode on womanhood, motherhood and navigating life as a woman drops. Do you believe the order of your birth has had a great impact on the person that you are today? It is said that birth order can help us understand our children and our personalities. On the show today, we'd like to delve into this conversation and the dynamics in your homes. Ladies, welcome. Thank you. First of all, what are your positions in the family and what did you notice about the way you were treated vis-a-vis -vis your siblings? Do you feel that the playing field was leveled? Um, I come from a family of five children, a boy who's the first born, and then I'm the second born, I'm the girl. So my brother and I were treated more like first borns, right? So, but what the difference I felt like between him and I was, his it was more of discipline. Mine was more of responsibility as we were growing up. So for him, it was, he was like, unfortunately, like he was the, the bar that was set to set the tone of discipline in the home for the rest of us. And for us, discipline came from our dad. Now you know how dads and their sons are, yeah. especially firstborn sons, yeah? So it was like a lot of like pumping and you know. And yet for me, my mom, again, because she's the homemaker, it was now became more responsibility of take care of the home, what's going on in the home, the structure of the home and the routine work of the home, you know? Mm -hmm. So it was, it was that balance and I think it had a lot to do with, a, with gender difference, mm -hmm. that there was a boy and a girl. Yeah. But then, yeah, but as we've grown, my responsibility stayed, but he's, my brother's now turned into responsibility after because now he's much older and can do work outside the home. So, yeah. so that's where the change was. But I felt like, no, so I, that was us, the firstborn children. But I just wanted to talk about that, that my mid, in comparison. So I was trying to compare and I was trying to understand who, who are we more different from? Mm -hmm. And I realized that my upbringing, I thought it was our youngest, but I realized no, the biggest comparison was between us and the middle-born child. Mm -hmm. The middle-born child being my sister, Yolisa. We call her Nalule. And I'll just say this, Nalule was, um, Nalule was top three to five in her class mm -hmm. consistently all the time yeah. she was she excelled in all the clubs sports clubs social clubs intellectual clubs she joined all of them yeah. and, and, and excelled yeah. in all of them oh, wow. my sister got a, a, a scholarship she was handpicked she got she went to she joined namagunga please remember now me i went to gaza she went to namagunga because she felt me i'm not going to copy those people i'm taking my own path because yeah, sure. she wants to shine yeah, yeah. <laughs> so she went to namagunga we finished S4, got 18.8. By S5, she was handpicked for a scholarship oh. in the US United World College. Okay. Where she went, my parents didn't have to pay for her. And after that, she earned herself a position in Ivy League with full scholarship at Princeton University. Yeah. Oh, wow. Picture. Cool. She got UWC, met her husband. Right? Yeah, yeah, from United World College, UWC, yeah. where she actually met her now husband. Yeah. yeah. Oh. So he's a very good German boy. So he's, <laughs> yeah, we love you, love you, Foster. <laughs> so like after that, so now she's done with school. She started her, so she actually even, um, so in the university, she even got employed in the university. She's finished that, then she got married to her husband, and then she enrolled for a master's program. She went to London, the London School of, of Hygiene. Of, so her husband went to London School of Economics. Mm. She went to the London School of, of Hygiene and Tropical Medicine mm. to study public health. Oh. Master's degree, married woman, yeah? Yeah. yeah? Then she decided now it's time to have children. Mm. Had her two beautiful children. She was still employed and still now progressing in her career. And even after that, She's published, she's written like research reports, like well-published person, you know? Mm -hmm. And now she's actually, just two years ago, she was now employed as a big dog in an international development organization mm -hmm. where she, they implement projects mm -hmm. for more vulnerable, you know, vulnerable okay. countries, okay, yeah. communities, mm -hmm. in, including East Africa, actually, in the global health sector. But we had a conversation after this. So my sister is, the, is an overachiever. And it's so clear she's that way because of that overshadowing that happened in the middle bone. So I called her and I asked her, Nalule, and I just wanted to quote because we had a conversation. And I, I just wanted to quote, but Nalule, you've done so much. 
And please note, I speak about this because in my family, we celebrate, we are very highly academic and career oriented mm -hmm. as people. Mm -hmm. So for us, that's where our achieving is. Yeah. So we are celebrated for those kinds of achievements. Mm -hmm. And this is what she told me. I spoke to her and I, I, I asked her, um, what, what, what did you feel was the comparison between us and you? And this yeah. is what she said. She said, what I remember is that I was always underwhelmed and disappointed by everyone's reactions towards my achievement. I'd come home and I've gotten such high performance and people would be like, oh, good job, good job. next. Oh my wow. gosh. And she said, Pumla, I didn't even have a graduation party. No way. Oh. Yeah. What she happened? Who knows? <laughs> Middle child. Nobody oh, cares. Oh, nobody cares. We are nobody tired. Nobody cares. Yeah. When it comes, my brother, when I looked back and I saw my brother and I and my younger sisters, mm. the most was done for us. Like everything. We even traveled. They rewarded us for so mm. many things. I remember, and I vividly remember one time, I came back home. I was the 10th in class. They, actually, we took the weekend off, everybody. <laughs> but, and I we can understand that off. celebration because of the kind of teenager <laughs> we you are. The, well, even my brother, it was the same. Like, when uh. get, my brother was also did really well in school, yeah. but maybe like seventh there. Mm. Like, whoa, that's good. My sister was top three, remember? Yeah. When she was second, they would even ask her, hey, what, what happened? happened? Who beat you? <laughs> <laughs> who is that who beat you maybe oh next Lord. time next time you'll beat her yeah. you know and, and so it, it it i realized that oh my goodness that was where like the the difference between us the firstborns and the youngest and the children younger, and yes. the comparison was in the middle and i just want to use this public platform mm -hmm. bambi to tell my sister nalula your list are foster uh -huh. you are the top goat in the magalanyago family <laughs> <You're in there. laughs> we know it we know it everybody knows it and I'm, I'm so proud and we all are we love you and we're so proud of the woman that, that you, you eventually are. became because she's like greatness she's moving greatness that but she's not been celebrated so much for oh. it and what is and even now when she was her. speaking mm. i could tell i had had it before mm. at a time when it, it hurt her but now when she was speaking she was just speaking yeah, that, yeah, yeah. I've, i acknowledge it but i moved on it's okay yeah, yeah, like yeah. it was that but uh, it made it hurt me but yeah. i felt bad yeah. as the bath club ladies we celebrate, <laughs> we celebrate, we celebrate, we celebrate you <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> she is the god yeah. she really is she really really is yeah. it's so funny um so my sis my i'm not a firstborn i'm a secondborn and in a way, middle child. So we are four. Right? There's my older sister, then me, and then I have a, a sister that follows me, and then my little brother. So my, me and my sister that follows are like middle children, so to speak. Yeah. However, my older sister and I were born, it's like a year in between us. When my mom had my older sister, she conceived me almost four or five months oh. after she had my, my older sister. So there's that like... We are almost like twins. like you, yeah, yeah like yeah. twins. And those are the words my mom used. That she was like, oh, I raised you guys like twins. Yeah. Um, so, but my sister's personality right from when she was born was more withdrawn. Okay. Interestingly, I was the cantankerous one. <laughs> Wow. So what the other guys were saying surprise, on the men's surprise, show was that true. Yeah, I was there defending you when Brands mentioned on the show. Oh yes. Oh, I can't talk. I'm like, you guys, even me, I said, even me, I was defending myself. I was like, I'm not cantankerous. Who <laughs> you <laughs> she is? As a child, as a child, I evolved. Yes, I evolved. And um, so my, si I there were those like little fights that we had growing up with my sister. But it wasn't. Yes, it was sibling rivalry. But what happens is every time I would insist on my way, my, my older sister would just let go because she just she didn't want to fight. She didn't. Yeah. She'd rather be left alone in her corner. So if you want to fight and have it, you go ahead you and go ahead. yeah. But in terms of how my parents raised us, we were raised like two firstborns. Like and okay. imagine we were both girls. Yeah. So there was that element of responsibility. My mom caned us for things like not washing your panties, not laying your bed, your yeah. room is messy, yeah. you went outside the gate without permission, you know what evil is outside. Like, we were both punished for the same things. Mm. There was never a difference of, oh, she's the firstborn, therefore she must take yeah. care. We were girls, and I think she was just grooming us for the rest of the world. When my younger sister and my little brother came, actually, I'll speak about my little brother because that was where the difference was. He was a boy much okay. out, like longer waited okay. Okay. and it was like miraculous yeah. the way she my mom had had three girls at the third she was just like you know what i guess god has decided that i'm only going to have girls eventually she conceives i think scan is telling her you might be having a girl eventually she gives birth he's oh. a boy oh. <laughs> so my my parents i think gave him a lot of leeway 
we were actually having this discussion with my mom yesterday and she said my brother was a child behaved like a child up until his university days there was that kind of thing of uh, he would get what he wants get his way sisters. with three big sisters yeah. we were sort of spoiling him and then of course we go to a point where like yo sam is growing like what is this kind of behavior he would ask for money i remember we used to share right <laughs> we used to share a car my dad had bought a car and so we were sharing it amongst yeah. us so times the outset some i want to use the car and he'd be like oh i'm just and then he was very sociable okay which it I think is, is consistent, yeah, yeah, with the last bonds. And so he'll be like, oh, I'm just going to check on this friend and this other friend, and then I'll come and bring the car to you. Lovely. First of all, he would bring it late <laughs> after course. I have called of and course. called and called. <laughs> then there would be no fuel in the car. Of course. And he's like, no, 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 you can just get to the petrol station down there and you, you, you'll you be right. able to get fuel. Then petrol station, he passed. Right. His way. So let's just say I ran out of fuel a couple of times because my brother had used the car. And, like he was just that kid who were like, where is, when is this going to yeah. end? <laughs> but it all started from like when like he was the was only changing. boy and yeah. you know, so longer waited. I think it was just waited. twofold. I think it was just yes. that. You, that it, because everything you're saying is typical last born. Typical behavior, last born, yeah. But now adding the adding spice, the spice of, of the boy. Of the only yes, boy. Yes. Yeah. But if you yeah. see him now, now, oh my goodness. You know, my dad has been ill. And, you oh, know, we've yes. sort of been in I the hospital. Him. You've seen him. Yes, yes, you've met my brother. Oh, you met the brother. Oh. <laughs> If you see him now, you'd think he's the firstborn. Because yes. my older sister, like I've mentioned, she's more reserved. And my mom had this knowledge, I think because of her background in, in early childhood education. So she knew also because, remember, we've been born um, a few months apart. So she knew to treat her and bring her in and draw her in based on her personality, but also on the fact that she'd conceived much earlier than expected. Yeah. So she treated us that way. Um, but like I was saying, if you see my brother now, yeah. He is so responsive. I think leaving the country sort of yeah. Um, yeah, yeah. Yeah, enabled him to grow up and like just be... When my mom needed to make decisions about hospital, she didn't call my older sister or me. She called my brother. And she's yeah. like, oh, the doctors are saying this. Yeah. You know, like, what are your thoughts? What do you think? We and it's so, so cool to watch. Yeah. So cool yeah. to watch. Like to see him... Because we've seen the, the yeah, younger side, side and then to see him yeah, now so taking... Yeah, yeah, it's so... So nice. So, so cool, so cool. So, <laughs> obviously, we had to go and ask our parents. For sure. For sure. <laughs> because, you know, you can feel a certain way, yes, but you but also want... But let me go because you are an overachiever. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, what has this got to do with you? <laughs> Yo, Lisa, you and I, we are two. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'm, the, I'm the god, you are I'm the god. god. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think I'm the goat in my family at all, but I knew her if I come after Manuela, really, mm. really, yeah. That Comparison. Would be no. A tough <laughs> act, <laughs> too. Yeah, yeah. It, yeah, it would be a tough act, too. Second last. Second last. Second, last. Second yeah. last. I'm born in January, and my baby sister is born in November, so we were basically like twins. Mm. Out of how many children? Eight. Eight. Oh. We have four boys, four girls, a set of twins, yeah. So I'm oh. the seventh in a line of eight. And um, the, the difference is that most people think I'm the last born because I was extremely sickly as a child. Um, my dad will always say, but why do we celebrate Angie's birthdays? Because me, I was those kids who never grew. Between like the age of five and I, when I was 15, I could be in P2 or P3. I was just small black, yes, very, very, very small black. Small black. Okay. Yeah, firecracker in there. Um, of course, as I said, people are overachievers, but I, I do recall now that you, you, you mentioned, and we've brought it up at home quite a lot. Um, we came back to Uganda and I went to live with my godparents because my, 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 my parents hadn't come back. So I went to school in Bara, Nyamitanga. So that year, I was the first in the whole of Western District. I think I was like the fifth in, in, in PLE years. Oh. I know it doesn't show now much. <laughs> And like anybody who went to school with me, between either one, two, three, one, two, three. But nobody ever noticed. I remember very many times, because once again, my dad is creative, and I think he saw that in me much, much earlier. And whenever I'd bring home a report, it looked like everybody's, yeah, you need to improve here and here and here. Then they look at her and she say, men no longer, oh no, she should go and dance. Hey, alternative Always. path of success. Yes, <laughs> even you finish your A, A levels. My dad was very happy to pay for me uh, for school, uh, music school in uh, Australia, mm -hmm. rather than go to like the mainstream. No school, yes. You know, I remember when I got a four, they they brought a chicken home. I used to be, af I am afraid of chicken, and you know they they made chicken for dinner. 
My you mean you're afraid of live chicken? Yes, yes. Oh. But people <laughs> well, you know are afraid of chicken. I'd rather see oh, a yeah, snake than a chicken. Yes, yeah, chicken, birds. Mm. So they brought chicken home and that was it. My sister, my baby sister got an eight in PLE. She was in Nakasero. I have seen joy of people at State House were like, what has happened at yeah, Nakasero? Yeah. Everybody thought my, my, my sister was the first in Uganda. Mm. <laughs> she had gotten eight. Okay. Yeah. But also on the other side, being, being born at the tail end, most people say either you kind of like chill out. Yeah. I was that one who always wanted to be, to be seen, mm. to be noticed. Mm. Because everybody would like be talking about maybe the twins or my yeah. sisters are doing mm. so well. And I'm like, how about yeah. even me? I'm here, mm. but they'd always be like, eh, Ka Anji. Eh. Me, I've always lived my life being looked after by my older siblings. Mm. Even in school, when I didn't want like to go to class, Mommy Kuba would come with hot water, get up, bathe. Mommy Louise is there, you're going to eat now. I've made you spaghetti. Mm. If I don't wash my uniform, this is now secondary school, I'd be like, mm, I don't want to wash my uniform. My siblings would always be there to ensure that. Mm. And so when I end up being the first one to have children, I, I, give, I give thanks and, and everything yeah. to my siblings. That's why we have Mama Kuba. There is no way I would have raised, you know those sweet children, you mm. see? without the help of my So siblings. would you say that your parents were tired, quote unquote? By because the yeah, by the time you. they reached you. Eight is a, quite a number, yeah. Wow, in those days eight was nothing. And even in these days if you just you're just pushing up the children. No, you are not but, but um, carry on. remember my mom had me at my age. Ah, yeah. yeah. So by the Yes. yes. So by the time I was ten, my brothers always say, "Ah, oh, you found the mukombos when she was." Yes, she had she had, down and yet, me, yet me, I used to see my that she could so give you a cocaine. But the boys are like, "What? You found mommy when she is tired." Yeah, but that's when my sisters, my younger sisters, say the same thing. That ah, oh, you guys are bringing the what tough what. But yes. if you compare to yes, the first the ones, yeah, 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 the love, our love was like tough. I don't even know if there was love. It there was it tough. Was tough. <laughs> Me, yeah, I thought they were. Yeah, and yeah, as, love. No love, it was love just tough. Love. People then being born at the end, you wash dishes. <laughs> I let the young ones uh, go wash dishes. I don't care about dishes. Dishes was the worst thing of being born at the tail end of any yeah, family. Wow. So, yeah, that's how it was. I know, like, like she'll go before you. Because oh, I'm a girl. Everybody, <laughs> everybody has to go. Yeah. She, she has already said she will go. Madam, hope you have a manifesto. Okay. I hope you have a manifesto. Okay. I hope you have a manifesto. I'm sure you do. At least it will be the juice one. Anyway, <laughs> we shall fill in for you. you. Yeah, but I was raised with my sister. My sister was the firstborn as the second until 15 years later when my when my brother came Man. yes he came yes. when i was in yes, yes, yeah s5 yes. so it was jane and myself as the second born but as always the kantanga one so that one i will not yeah. even you have told us before so <laughs> yeah so she was always <laughs> really <laughs> she was like she, she was so orderly she was already a reserved person, almost yeah. like what Rachel yeah. as, as just seeing the similarity really? while you talked. Yeah, mm. so much similarity. Your mm. brother came in not as late as mine, yeah. but almost but the almost same story. The same, he came yeah. with all his chejo. Mm. You can imagine two girls, and then you get a boy after 15 years. Of waiting, yes, time, you yeah. can imagine he was dressed up even when he didn't want. Let me dress you up, my bro. <laughs> Um, so Jen was always the responsible one, mm. very um, calm, cool and collected. She's not those people who wait to be told to wash the dishes. Yeah, She'll yeah. see the dishes oh, dirty oh, and go and wash them. Yeah. Rosette will sit in a corner and wait until she's, she's told, told to do something. And then complain. <laughs> and then complain. Oh, when, when, the dishes when, are too many. You just mentioned that, oh my God, the worst part is washing dishes. All last born oh, children but I'm complain about, about why she was dishes. washing dishes. <laughs> everything because like it's like and they feel that it's them doing it <laughs> they have no idea they that firstborn children yeah. are actually doing much more much which means yes. they, they, they don't you speak dishes. like my sister oh my god yeah, my yeah, last born sister. As, 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 as going to cut you short and 
say apart from the last I'm born in short, I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I was Go going on. to say until the last born in my family, then I remember but no, she's the first girl. girl. Because Zara is the last born but first girl. Yeah. She yeah. will run to rush the dishes. First girl. Oh, she does. Oh my god, she's so hard working. She's oh, those kind no. of people who you tell you you tell Maki close that door, she'll be like, No, I'll close that door. Do this. No, I'll do this oh. if I had half that energy. <laughs> She's so drama. You can imagine her in her littleness. Yes. In her littleness. <laughs> she's so bossy. But anyway, uh, so growing up as as always the one push, 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 but but I, I didn't fight for attention. Mm. Yeah, you I had, I had you were the last born. You were the yes. last one for the last years. Yes. Yes. Uh, for a while. Yeah. Until Morris came. Now Morris already coming. To level up, to, to level him up mm. and make him a more responsible person. Mm. He had to come and live with me. Like everyone decided, mm. you know what? Mm. You can't. Can't stay with but your mom. mom. No, no. Come. Wait, by the time he came, you were already married. No, no, no. 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 He was I'm fifteen. Was so when I got married, he was about seven. Got it. Then got he started. It. I actually be. I actually now confirm that I've been co-parenting that with boy mom, with my mom, 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 my parents. Oh my yeah. I, I but you mentioned uh, yes. about the same age gap between me and my first son. Oh, oh. Yeah, that's interesting. Carry on. Yeah. yeah. You're, you're the real Actually, mom. that's true. Yes. Yeah. 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 So he started living with us when he was seven. And in my house, it's uh, my husband, eh? No room for nonsense. Yeah. You man. have to be so proper. Was, so he was the first born. He was the first born. Thanks. Literally. Literally. So this is not what you're going to teach the son. So do this. I saw him evolve. I'm like, yeah, yeah. you really needed this. Because <laughs> mom wasn't helping. But it, <laughs> Bambi, I told Red that she was old, and then last boy, a boy, it's a boy, you people. Was that spoiling or spoiling? The boy was spoiled. He was spoiled. You know the spoiling where everyone comes and they're irritated by the spoiling. You know that kind of. For who are your parenting? And they're like, but really, this boy. Are you really raising someone responsible when you do this? Yeah. Yeah, Bambi, they would real judge her and you would feel that she's um, has touched her. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> there were comments that would go around, yeah. Because yeah. we like, who were really young when he came through, but get all the love. You can imagine two That's sisters. Imagine. Like, yeah. The father was on the edge of yeah. 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 But then uh, growing up, it's amazing how, you know, I be Came the most responsible person. Yeah. I'm the one that no, is. It's yeah, it's Jay. It flipped which, around. Which camera is Jay? <laughs> because wow, oh, but wow. she still is. But, she's but so I sweet. don't know. Yeah, she's such she's a sweet a girl. Like, oh, so it's like that. It's that same. Yeah. 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 So. Like, oh, you want? You did. Mm, hey. <laughs> and yet she's tough. She's As not well. that you want to get, oh my goodness. She's, not, she's, she's not. an accountant, so mm. you know accountants. Mm. Yeah. You don't, you know, easily take yeah. from them. They are mm. slow in making decisions. They're tough. Mm. You have to give accountability. Yeah. So she's just for who keeps <laughs> telling me, are you sure? Do you have your bag? Are you safe? Are you? And you're like, okay. I'm, 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 you, yeah, like, I'm okay. <laughs> so she's, yeah, you're she's grown. very structured. She's, yeah. yeah. But when I grew up, um, I don't know how. The table just switched. Like everyone just got shocked about who I became of. Yeah, I, I, I think I started working early. Mm. Life covered me. I'm like, ah, man, <laughs> life covered me. I had to vent early enough. My parents couldn't give me much. They couldn't give me much when I was older. I'm no. like, no, I'm not going to look for men to do this. I started work really early. Because after Form 6, I went, I started. And my first job, man, mm. that days would work up to midnight. Yeah. <laughs> Those things form. Yeah, 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 yeah. You know, someone is starting their business. There's, um, they had cargo that would come in, in the night. You needed to receive it, yeah. and it's put on the floor for sale. No yeah. time to waste, yeah. and would be paid very, very, very yeah. little. Yeah. And then you'll be like, "Yeah, I needed this 10k." <laughs> <laughs> it wasn't bad. Was bad. Yeah. Like I got an, an extra it 10k. Was bad, yeah. Oh, it was. <laughs> when six bucks, I got 300k. <laughs> no, I, no, what no, job no, was no. that? They are somewhere. Bambi, <laughs> <laughs> no, Bambi, my, my ca actual uh, salary was 300k, but we were allowed to get 10k per day. 10k per day? Ten, no, per three. That's yeah, a lot of money. Like that. Yeah. Yeah. Ah, yeah, 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 yeah. The goat, the goat. Yeah, the goat over to you. I don't know why you are all. Anyway, the goat. Our sharing. Ali, hello? Come on, 
<laughs> anyway, so I had to, I called my mom. I am yeah. like, uh-huh. Was there a difference? And she was like, no. Mm. For you people, we saw you as the same. The same yeah. okay. You are all required to wash plates. You're all required to okay. clean. You're all required to work. You're all required. No, their, their parents will tell you, you, you are a woman. Mm. And you're the firstborn. And you have to be responsible. Mm. But the way no. I feel like what I saw with my mom is like she, she did things in turns. She always did things in turns. Like if she's leaving, like let's say the house, should say, Rinaldi, you're in charge. And then she goes. Mm. Then the next, next day, day, Manuela, you're in charge. Oh, so her last then one she could be in charge. Eh, eh. Oh, My okay. mom not fear. Now, oh. however, she oh. did okay. not change with poverty. Oh, yes. yes. Oh, but then oh, later nah. she explained. She explained. <laughs> Wow. I love Manuela's poverty. Oh my God! <laughs> we have learned from she, you. Yes, <laughs> send her the woman. I'm <laughs> telling the you, ones that she the ones that she gets So and and then later, she, but then later she said. So in her mind, she would see us. And she would say that I am. I need to raise these people as if they are the, the same. same. Like when I'm teaching Manuela how to cook an egg at eight years, I'm also as long as Rinaldi reaches eight, eight. he learns same. how to so do an egg. Yeah, when yeah. Larry reach, reaches eight, he will he learn to. Learn. So she yeah. always raised us in that format. Yes. If yes. you, if yeah. It, it, yeah, she was those fair people okay. of when when it's time to eat food. One sausage, one sausage, one sausage, two sausages, two yeah. sausages, mm. oh, one extra sausage, one and a quarter, one, one and a quarter, quarter, one and a quarter. It didn't but matter. But one was old, then he did some more sausage. Yeah, you would think, yeah. no? She would <laughs> do, she and then that last, girl. no, yeah. she would not, and <laughs> I realize even yeah. now for me in raising, I know we're going to talk yeah. about that, I do exactly, exactly the, the same, same thing. Yeah. However, she did explain that yeah. certain situations oh. made, made her not do it all the time like she made her not treat us equally mm. all the time yes. for example my baby brother had a problem with his leg he had osteomyelitis mm. and so he was constantly in hospital with his leg being worked on yes. so he could not mop oh, as often as yes. we would yes. but she was like if he had he, if he didn't have that issue Everyone, would be, Everyone would be mopping the same because she would, like, she would really be there measuring. You would find her measuring the room. You, you have like these square meters. Oh, no. Now you, you'll clean from the sitting room to the dining. Yeah. You, you'll clean from here. Tanga, she knows that now you have equal. But yeah. that thing that disturbed our last bone, mm. it's what she says that that thing really, disorganized. it really disorganized her, her, strat right. her strategy oh, and yeah. her plan. Yeah. And I feel like, unfortunately, it has come back to bite her. Because yes. now she had to treat him like the real last born. True. You understand? True. Like yeah. now, if he's if he just says, eh, eh, she's like yeah. bananga the leg. Because the this is a son who you've been with, and they've told you we need to amputate. Yeah. So if he just says, yeah. you're like, uh, uh, leave the egg, leave yeah. the egg. Okay. You, I will not give him any response. No, no, no. Let him okay. be there. So then now she had to, and and she the way she says it, she says like. She feels like she did him a disservice, Service. but she's like, but I had no, I didn't know what to no, do with true. my, like I didn't know what to do in, based on this situation. True. Then the second thing she says is, me, my character mm. made it hard for her to treat us all equally. <laughs> because even when she would leave my brother in charge, I would be supervising him. <laughs> How is he doing being in charge with all of us? Yeah, so oh, come back yeah. and say, Mommy, you see, eh? you know, we're supposed to cook egg like this. When we were cooking, he, he didn't do it that. It, yeah. You get so then my character made it yeah. difficult, made it difficult yeah. for her to try and treat us yeah. Yeah. Not even your equally. Sex, your character. Even oh, my character. Yeah. So yeah. we're three. Yeah. three. Yeah. Me, my mom, and my dad were three children. Okay. I'm going to come to the, extended to the extended family. Yes. I just wanted to start with this one. So she feels that I, oh, I over, I impressed myself upon the role of firstborn even when she didn't she require it <laughs> of me like i would go to school and then she would come to school and i'll tell her i'm working so hard so that i can get a scholarship so that also yeah. you can pay school fees but i didn't ask, I didn't you. ask you i didn't put that responsibility yeah. on you just i'm still you yeah, just do yeah. your best just do you so i would be yeah. those people who i would come to her and i'll tell her mommy i did well in sciences and arts mm. which one should i do and she'd say do you do, you. do what you want but because you had your own but me i had my own, own pressure, pressure yeah. seeing yeah. her and so she said man that thing used to disturb me her. and it yeah. used to and so 
because of that, she was like, I really, really tried my best to try and make it as equal as possible, yeah, but, yeah, but you would still. not allow me. Uh, Your young brother could not also allow me. Yeah. Then now we are older, my middle, the, 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 the middle born, yeah. Rinaldi, has also changed, like, he's, he, now we are like two first bones. Yes, because he's, so, he's a boy. Yeah. So, she, so she, she feels like her cup plot didn't, it didn't work out, so it didn't work out. It yeah, it didn't, it didn't let her. Past. She, of course, she yeah. feels like she wanted to have three firstborns. Well, from the outside looking in, Mama, you did a good job. Yeah. 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 yeah, you did a but good job. I come from a family of, of ten. ten. Okay. Yeah. okay. So while I'm the first for my mom and my dad, dad, dad. I am the seventh of okay. my dad. Oh, yeah. okay. And I will feel the tiredness <laughs> of your dad. Of my dad. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Mommy, yeah. I feel he's, I feel he's just like, yeah. have I worked on this one? Yeah. Has it worked or not? not? It has not worked. Move on. As so, but yeah. I, but for him, I feel like the way he raised us, he goes, he he works with what's going. Yeah. Can you be like a firstborn? No. Okay. Next. Can you be like a firstborn? <laughs> no. Next. Right. Can you be like a firstborn? No. Yes. Good. Okay. Now you are the you first one. Yeah. You, you, you are. You will work for yeah. me. <laughs> So I, I, I feel that in my family, we've never, and it's just my personal feeling, like mm -hmm. we, we've never been, everybody's, you're allowed to choose when. Well, which position. Yeah, yeah. which position yeah. you want, and yeah. it's up you're to you. Children. Yeah, you're all children. So I still yeah. feel like even then, they still raised us. Yeah. Oh, my, mom, my mom said exactly what your mom said, but it wasn't true. My mom insisted that she raised us equal. But, but it was true. not true. Yeah. Yeah. But in her mind, she's yeah. 100% yeah. sure, sure. sure. that how Sonko was, how Pumla was, is how Nambatia was, not, not at all. That's why I said, I'm not going to make this phone call to yeah. mom. Yeah. Just so going I to guess. give me wrong info. Yeah. <laughs> the info the way she wants, the it, way she wants it to yeah. be. But I I like, I, let me call the individuals who are in the thing. How did they feel they were? Mom. I think that for my mom, I think she... I, she accepts that even when she tried, yeah. the it world didn't, didn't allow. Didn't That's what I was going, didn't going didn't to say. Yeah, maybe yeah. It's she just, was very cognizant yeah, of but that of the situation. Like, Life yeah, I jumped. really wanted to, but yeah. your character wouldn't allow me to do yeah. that. Yeah. Your brother's sickness yeah. could not allow me to do that. Yeah. Your yeah. brother's quietness, the middle one, yeah. I, it wouldn't allow yeah. me to do that. Yeah. So I, so she said that I did what I could in my control and yeah. let life continue yeah. if manuela wants to be responsible let her be responsible great if this one is sick later he's sick he if this one is quiet yeah. let him be quiet but what i can control i.e yeah. here is a timetable yeah. on monday manuela mops on tuesday rinaldi mops yeah. on wednesday uh, larry yeah. mops yeah. on thursday manuela on friday as that one i will do, do. Yeah. Okay. but beyond that but beyond that i have no control if manuela yeah. feels that the way rinaldi mopped there wasn't nice so she's going to mop yeah. again <laughs> Um, you uh, mop. <laughs> my next question, I, Manuela has uh, somehow answered her bit because we're speaking about how do you, how do you feel your parents treated the firstborns in your family? You've kind of an answered that, but yeah. the rest of you, how did how did you feel? I would like to say that I also kind of answered it. We were, there was no. I think because we were both girls, mm -hmm. uh, the first three children were girls. My mom had a similar strategy to your mom's, where it was like their chores to do. It doesn't matter if you're the first, second, or third. The house is going to be mopped, so we're all apportioned a part in the house. I remember my part was the corridor and the, and the bathroom. My sister, I think, my older sister was doing the living room. Sam, <laughs> <laughs> Sam, my little brother, was assigned the veranda, which rarely got mopped. <laughs> rarely got mopped. But because I was the cantankerous one, and I, I didn't like conflict. I didn't like that thing where my mom would come back home and gathers all of us, and then there's a lecture, and now housework was not done. Now you're all going to get Chiboka. I was just like, you know what, I'm going to mop it. So I would end up doing his portion of that, his or portion. try and insist that he does it. And like, he would not be about that life. Uh -huh. So there was no you're the firstborn, therefore yeah. you are going to do more responsibilities than your other sisters. Yeah. My mom, I think, had this, yeah. she was very traditional. We are all girls, she's probably grooming us to be mothers and wives someday. Yeah. Yeah. Therefore, you're going to learn housework. I remember she taught me how to, like, wrap 
matoke in bana eh of course it was not like the proper chiganda way but i can actually do it yeah. and would would cook before church for example would make leave our the, meal leave the okay. food on yeah. and then go to church come back serve i know i've talked about this a lot would come back with visitors they would eat yes. the food <laughs> <laughs> then she'd be like now my children you go down there and get a pack of spaghetti come back you cook for yourselves and you yeah. eat yeah. and there would be no like complaining i remember a time when we came back home we were so tired i don't know what had I think we had an event or something. We come back home. This is like 9, 10 p.m. My dad is asking for food. I'm just like, Girl. people, we are tired. Why can't we all just bathe and go to bed? Bed. My mother is. I think she said this in Runyankoli. She was like, she was basically saying a woman doesn't get tired. Yeah. Like there is no come. There's no yeah. end to. So get in. And those days we were about the sigiri life, you people. <laughs> Yeah. 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 So she's yeah. like, Bambe, one of you light the sigiri, the other one do oh, go God. and peel this, the other one go because daddy has to eat food, right? right. Yeah. Hey, so we'd get into it. There was no this thing, oh, okay, Rachel Bambi, you are the second born, you go and sleep, eh? Bus, no, bus. No, no, no. no, no, no. All, All of us. Yeah. All of us. Yeah. Definitely it was us that, that too. And because I was the girl, if it was anything to do with the house. It was me doing all that work wow. and whatever it was. And yet strangely, so this is the thing. Me, I didn't feel anything. Really? No. I had no problem with it. That's why it really irritates me when I hear my younger sisters complain. Complaining. It irritates the <laughs> shit out of me. <laughs> because I honestly felt yeah. nothing. It was, yeah. so I, I don't know if it was a natural thing. So there's that. I don't know. I don't know if it's something in the training and the raising that they prepare you for that. Mm -hmm. So you don't feel anything. I felt nothing. Mm -hmm. The things that I was subjected to were, were not done to my sisters. Mm -hmm. And I don't feel anything. Yeah. But for me, I feel I need to. Yes. I always have to. My big brother, for him, there was a military thing there. Yeah, yeah. Mine was just responsibility, like yeah, you have yeah. to, and I'm fine. But my brother, there was some militaristic um, mm. raising that yeah. was completely different from ours. Again, he's the first born. And he's the first born, and he's a boy. Yeah. So he was really under the, the helicopter so of, of my father, yeah. mostly. Yeah. So my mom was like, excuse me. I'm fathering your child, so you, you do your daughters. Yes. I got this one. Yeah. So there was that, yeah. There was some... Um, in fact, I wanted to call him, but I wasn't ready for the conversation. Yeah, yeah. yeah. because I, I've seen, I know, <clears throat> I know because we've had conversations and I've seen some scarring that's happened. Yeah, and because as a family, we, we are open, we communicate, we've had certain conversations yeah. that haven't always gone well yeah. because of that. So even if we were put at a, a pedestal, Mm. I feel for him, there's, there's, there, was like an there was an extra that was not necessary. Mm. It was completely mm. unnecessary, mm. yeah. Mm. And they could have done better. Yeah. And my parents, because again, we're open, my parents have also tried to apologize and mm. spoken about it. And, you know, so there's their healing. But I didn't want to have that one-on-one -on -one because I wasn't ready for the conversation. Yeah, yeah. yeah I, I wasn't ready certain, to hear certain, certain things. things. Yeah, and then, of course, because he's, all, he's like my, my brother. Like, my brother's got my heart. Like, me and my brother are like peas in a pod. Yeah, this yeah. other, I love you, my other, my sisters. <laughs> and even when they, they're always like, Songo, you'd behave like this, you'd do that. Yeah. And me, I'm always like protecting him. He's got me. Like, we've got each oh, other. Yeah, yeah. yeah and I, but I know what was there. And let me yeah. even tell you the truth because I was a girl. Again, I've mentioned before, I was so manipulative. I was never beaten by my parents. Every mistake I made, my brother was beaten for. Every mistake, everything that went wrong, but my brother took accountability for it and he was beaten. Not you guys, how you beat your kids like this. The other beating. Yeah. Of, of, of go, go, and, go and get the other stick from the guava tree. Yeah. Yeah. Then, then let it dry co. Let it dry co a little bit. And then then we're going to show you. Yeah. <laughs> So what did Pamela do? She did what? You're not allowed to explain. And then me, I'd come and say, you know, he did not do anything. Oh what was he doing? Yeah. And I'm really sorry, so uncle. I'm so, so sorry. <laughs> <laughs> but because I know and I was there for that journey, yeah. yeah so yeah. I, I felt, and I, I see him trying to do better with his mm -hmm. children. And yet it's innate because we've also seen him behave like that yeah. with his first, his firstborn son. Mm -hmm. Yes. But he's, he cut, yeah, but I see him do that work to catch himself, to be better. Say, ah, oh, no, 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 I'm not going to, to pass this, this wound onto my family and my children, yeah. So my sister Jane and myself come after four brothers. My dad had brothers, I had sons. So all these were sons until the two of us came. When we were younger, I like that she leveled the ground for all of us. I like that when we had a day to cook, and I also vividly remember that whole Kusani Katoke, is a time I was also proud of myself. Some auntie of mine came to eat, and that Toke was, yeah. Uh, yeah. Like, who cooked? I like, that would be me. <laughs> <laughs> Myself, I did the cooking. 
<laughs> so she trained us. Everyone had a day to, you know, do the cooking. If it's to mop, you all had to learn. She, she, she didn't, she didn't specify. She didn't say Jane because you're the yeah firstborn. Yeah. Do no. It was leveled at I least for the house back. It was yeah. Everyone, you are yeah, the same. it's like you're just yeah. two girls yeah. divide yeah. this. Divide this do right. yeah, and it really gave us a very good. Um, yeah. I can't tell what it was like because I wasn't there, but I can yeah. I can see and the little that I saw by 1987, us guys had a computer at our home. Oh. Oh. Not rich. My my were never rich. But my parents were very intentional about what they exposed us to and what they gave us. Okay. So my brother kind of showed, you know, a leaning towards computer science, oh. right? I told you we're refugees, just that my parents were educated refugees, so they got really good jobs, right? Yeah. So in 1987, my dad brought home a computer. Wow. You are the ones who would go to your homes because... Yeah. Yeah, mm. yeah they brought a computer <laughs> and then... Oh, you understand yeah yeah so my brother started learning and then after his s4 um they got him into a college in 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 um in scotland thurzo college so right from the start you could see they were exposing him to the very best even when i look at pictures when he's two when he's four when he's five and he's abroad in snow that for you us guys would we want to by the time i was born we were eight so we would go in sessions this year for go yeah, they have for, yeah, I told you that. Oh, yeah. Then even like now my sister, who would be like the firstborn girl, you can tell the difference. Yeah. Her home is super neat. Yeah. Her, her, her underwear, her, her lingerie, the way yeah. it's like now for my house is nice, but hers is neat. It is nice. It is pretty. Her clothes are well ironed. Me, I wear chiffon all the time. So <laughs> They, they, they no, I am. No, yeah, I exactly. And then she had like Pumla's attitude of, like, why should this be a problem? It's yeah. just washing dishes, yeah. you know. And she'd be like, but Angie, now you've gotten into trouble because of this. And she'll do her things very, very fast. She can throw together a meal so, so, so fast. But I'm thinking, as you said, my mom still had energy. Mm. Yes, because she has all the traits that my mom has. Mm. She works and never grows tired. Okay. Good Yet for me, after two seconds, <laughs> 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 the new shares. They are the ones who the last ones are also like that Carolo. Everyone wash your own. Yes, ah, uh, like so it. That even me no at this at this age yeah. as a mother, when I say I can't manage, make people wash dishes, I'm like everybody. If you you wash, if they, we don't have a, you yeah. will all wash your own stuff. So I see even today, my 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 brother and my sibling. Uh, are more can I say genteel in the way they do things if there's an issue in the clan or whatever because my, my brother is the heir to his grandfather where well, my younger brothers are like man we go to court it's like no twins Octula once and we decide if the singers want a portion why don't we give them even the way in his marriage yes now for me and I'm cross. my sister is like but Angie if he's late let it go oh, 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 oh. first we, you know so yeah i i truly believe much as i wasn't there i truly believe that my parents treated the the, the first boy and girl differently yes so ladies how are you navigating um, your children's personalities in order to the way they have been born so I'll, I'll pour, I should go first because I have an only child yeah. for now. For and now. I think <laughs> Pumla can relate. But I feel like, and there's also such a thing called only child syndrome. Yes. Yeah. You've probably read about that. But I feel like because Micah is a boy, first of all, I have anxiety because he's a boy. And like, there's a certain level of responsibility and expectation that we have of our boy children. I don't know if you have felt this, considering yes. you have three. Um, but I, I feel like both Ben and I, and I started out when he was much younger, when he was like eight, seven months. Ben was all about that Chiboko life even at that point. Yeah. Like he's too young, oh my gosh, yeah. give him time. Well, he's still a child, the crying is the only language he understands. I was saying all those uh, yeah. babe, uh, mother Think, things, yeah. Yes. Until he got to like a year, and now I was seeing things where I'm like, this is going to be problematic two years from today. This yes. is going to be problematic in his teen years. Like yes. now I see that far. Yes. And I'm like, we need to fix it. Like That's I need to year. fix. Yes. Mm -hmm. I need to. So now 
I feel like we both hold him with an iron hand. There's that, there's the love, and I think it also comes like in extra measure. Yeah. But I see <laughs> yeah. both Ben and I saying we're kind of like what your parents were doing, maybe not to the extreme, but that iron, we must fix, yes, yes put him in order. He is very much like me, my son. Mm -hmm. Very sensitive very um and i think this is probably because he's had a lot of love poured out into him from my wider family but also yes. from us again True. because he's the only child True. and so i see those things i see those traits where it's like guys i want to be loved he likes to cuddle he likes to come mommy t touch my head like this just rub your hands over my head <laughs> <laughs> so i'm like that is I see the sensitivity, yes. and I'm like, I don't know if it's okay for a, a firstborn oh, and a man. It's yeah. okay. It's so so I'm like, I, I don't know who is. Go I think Ben will have to be the person who would like holds Man him, him up. Yes. Or another baby. Or another baby. Yes. Yeah, well, there you go. And, I, I, and yeah. I, I do feel like that. I feel like when there's more children, he's sort of going yeah. to come out of. We see the responsibility, we see him, we see the things that we poured into him, but there's that kind of thing where it's like, I'm still a child, I'm still a baby, yeah. you know, my, the center of my parents' attention, yeah. and sometimes it gives me anxiety, but other times I'm like, what to do? And, yeah. and they sometimes grow up to be those really sweet yes. and sensitive hands, yeah. husbands. Yeah. Well, well, like, yes. I, I pray for that. Yes. Really. Like, yes. Yeah. Yeah. No, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Nice husband material. Yeah. Yeah. They go through so much. They do. Imagine that one passing through a kapumla and yeah. you know they really suffer. Okay. They really do. They, they like us. Yeah. <laughs> yes. That's the problem. Like that is very true. <laughs> you really <laughs> ring them. And how the hell do you do Oh, yeah. Like, I don't know what you do. So, see? If, if, if you had had a girl, I, yeah. I would have hoped that maybe Mike and her would meet because I don't think she'd be anything like you. Who now? Your daughter. I know exactly my daughter would be like me. That's why really? God is not giving me a girl. <laughs> no, no. 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 God cannot give you more than you can. More than you can. Yeah, yeah. Can yeah. Hey, okay. Mother, give me that cast, that pumla, you're going to suffer. You're going to get, you're a, going girl. To get a girl who yeah. will show you I the said my uterus. Close. <laughs> <laughs> that cast. Counsel. <laughs> We Never, <laughs> because my son's like me and he irritates the shit out of me. Yeah, like, imagine a girl. Yeah, imagine yeah. a girl. And I think one she of the things, one of the I things, I don't think so. <laughs> I feel she like they have been put would. here on this earth to humble me. Exactly, yeah. that is true. No humbling is happening one, here. One of me. the reasons that I am no thankful I have had uh, extended time before my other children come is that we have micah has had a lot of attention and a lot of love yeah. um, because i've read that you know like when a firstborn is you know when the child is born a parent is going to show them a lot of love and affection yeah. when the next child comes that love and affection is taken away onto the next child kind of, yes yeah. so they end up say looking for attention or trying to be overachievers yes. to try and get back that attention but it never shows up yeah. and so i feel like because we've had so much time and energy poured out into Micah. When other children come, I feel like he's going to be confident and hold his own. Yeah. 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 Also, I feel like could, he will. It could, it could go either way. way. It could go either way. It could go either way. We know it will go that way. It will not way. go that way. Yeah. It will definitely. <laughs> I, I'm back. Me, it's equal. Yeah. Mm. Brian, on the other hand, is this is a man. Mm. Like, There's always that a thing. Boy, yeah. you that will thing? not. <laughs> You're the one to close that door. Now me, the responsibility for locking that door has two people. He's like Blake. Yeah. Let him you go close will that close that, that door. door. Yes. Because you are a man. Okay. Yeah, but you yes. see Blake going to close that door. Make sure all windows are closed. None of the dad. <laughs> Animal training. Yes, I is training. in training. Both mom and dad. Yes. yes. Because mom yes. would really go the other way. Yes, it would go the other way. Yeah. So we go the other way. It can't yeah. go the other Much way. Much as all moms say, I treat my children the same. We don't. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And yeah. if you have a schedule, it helps. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, it really yes. helps. Yeah, but Brian still feels that I don't treat them the same way. 
I also so I so you family. know you understand so I I, I think also, I also I've seen you with your children you don't treat them yeah the same no and I don't think that I don't. treat them the same way in terms of their personality because I'm cognizant of, of their, their personality, personality. Mm. Yeah, in terms of yeah, yeah yeah so in terms of things like responsibilities mm. and work they will get an equal okay. fair mm. share mm. so for sure. example oh, yes. their okay. morning for routine sure. is switched on a monthly basis Got it. so if okay. if Bianca was mopping in March mm -hmm. and Black was sweeping in March the house mm. in April it will it switch, will switch yes. so in terms okay. of responsibility I make sure mm. I do that thing that my mom does yeah. like it's an equal share yeah. 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 if you are cooking breakfast this month next month it will be the other one cooking breakfast, breakfast. and I think it helps that there are two yeah. so you can easily you like, can, easily you can do the cut switch the cut yeah. mm. now when it comes to their personalities my children are very different, different. Yeah. and so now my I, the way I treat them, I treat them according yeah, to, to their, their personalities. Personality. Yeah. You get what I mean? Yeah. So it, for me, it's not, oh, it's because you're the yeah. firstborn, yeah, yeah, or it's yeah, because, yeah, yeah, no, yeah. it's because I'm cognizant yeah. that your personalities are very different. different. If different. Bianca had Black's personality, I would be acting differently. Good. And if, if it was the other way, mm. but I really do, I do try to do it according to their their personality mm. brian on the other hand i feel acts with them according to their sex mm. you're a boy which men which usually men do yes. yes so he does according to your <laughs> sex you you're, you're a man you, you yeah. look at <laughs> brian <laughs> the camera? somebody help us somebody help us what? excuse me no, excuse me What's <laughs> <funny guy? laughs> And, and let's ask, where is Blake? <laughs> where is Blake? Let me tell you. Well, my, nobody viewers, cares. Viewers, nobody let me tell you cares. where Blake is. Nobody cares. As they are carrying Bianca <laughs> here. Blake was just out. Out, uh, actually. Yes. From the other side. Was just out. Yeah, you're just oh, hey. not making noise. You're <laughs> making noise for us. <laughs> you're making noise. But Bianca yeah, really doesn't hide us. No, he yeah. doesn't. But for him, it's, I feel <laughs> like it's that according thing is to not sex. True. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's gender. It's not true. Yeah. You know, this is a boy and this is a girl. <laughs> a girl should be loved and showered with love. I think I'm such a man. I'm wrong. I can't see. But funny enough, personality-wise, yeah. I think Bianca is ready for any man in this. She's ready for the world. She's yeah. Pumla. She's, she's the one who wears if any man passes. I, I be like, oh. She does, she does, only has Bianca <laughs> Cathy. <laughs> Which we need to tweak the I emotion. My daughter, my yeah. That one, if they give her to me for oh me, I cannot give you. I just need a mask with Bianca. <laughs> <laughs> she will be ready for the world. Just Those personalities are ready. Olava is ready for the world. Yes, really. Sorry, but she's ready. That one wants to close that door. Of course, she's ready for the world. Yet, Dean, first born. Is more not at all. Yeah. Mm, more yeah. chill. Yeah. I think he's he's ready differently. True. Mm. That's so he's true. ready That's differently. Right. He's, ready, differently. he's yeah, ready for a perfect world. <laughs> where a world is going to melee him and then he will yeah. yeah. So but like I, I feel that that's yeah. the dynamic that's happening in our home right now. Yeah. I just wanted to speak about the fact that well Rachel's me yeah, what everything Rachel said is is how I treat my only child but the reverse because my son is the reverse of Micah. Like yeah. he's totally independent, does his own thing, he's me, he's you, can I yeah. say, he's, yeah. he's kind of, kind of me, okay. but um, so I, I, I just wanted to say that I, 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 what I have realized in children mostly, that whereas they might have this bath order thing, um, you're not, there's someone I had say, I think he's a, um, an expert in childcare development, and he said that not two children are raised by the same parent, what does that mean, mm. that, um, that when the firstborn is born, you're a different parent. Yeah. Yeah. By the time the fourth, fifth, fifth sixth bones are yeah. coming yeah. to the world, yeah. you're a different yeah. parent. Because mostly the firstborn children are in a time when you're maybe like it, your, your relationship even in the it's home different. with your parent, with your spouse is yes. different. Your economic position your is different. Yeah. Your, journey of, your journey of personal development yes. Yes. is different. Yes. So you parent and, it, and it's represented or reflected in the way you parent those children yeah. in that way. So you find yourself like the firstborn children are raised with some kind of instability, anxiety, uncertainty. Yeah. They are not sure. So they, they make sure that everything has to be in line. Yeah. It's survival so, yeah. because we are raising you for 
a world that we are in right now, a yes. hustling type of mentality yeah. world. Yes. But then as you go older to the last born children, yes. and then also because they are younger, they have more energy for these kids yeah. to, to panel beat them the way mm. they want. Mm. But as the children grow now, you change. Economic position improves mostly. Yes. You're a bit certain of the future yeah. mostly. You've started planning maybe better. You're a bit older, so you're at a different level of your self-growth and self-development. So you're more stable even. Your emotional self yes. is even more yes. stable. Your yeah. psychological is more stable. Things, your relationship, you've gone through those bad ups and downs yeah, yeah, yeah. that yes. you were in with your husband. With your with yeah, your, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And now you're, you're now better. You're yeah. calmer, you're more peaceful. Yeah. So then now it's time to now pour that kind of love into that firstborn, the love that you're experiencing and the comfort and the peace. You dial and you, back. you dial back. Yes. Yeah? So, yes. But in a more peaceful and more stable way. Yeah. So much yeah. as there's a whole thing of birth order, it's also to do with the people, the parents are at the different stages very of their very, life very, journey. Very, very it is reflected quickly into the way the children come out. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> mostly, yeah. You saw Rachel might never so, ever really yeah, yeah, see yeah, it, yeah. yeah. And then but oh, oh, Manuela, maybe, yeah. but yeah. when you have yeah. more children yeah, like, yeah. is when you notice. We're born in the same time. Yeah, when you're born in the same time, you don't notice. Yeah. Yeah. If you're born in the same time period, choo choo choo. But a child now, yes, for sure there would be, be different. Different. There are lessons you've learned. Yeah. Even Brian yeah. keeps saying it's like the, the lessons I've learned with just these two. Two. Yeah. True. Yeah. If we had another child, for you sure. Would, you would, yeah. so you, no, for say, sure. If you had another child <laughs> for us, for, us. for him is not in the equation. <laughs> yeah. 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 That child would be treated differently. For, for sure. sure. It's true. For and sure. even their personalities, I think, are based on the way. I I think that maybe my because my first and my second, my second is is the owner of the party. Of the, you know, Misha, yeah. he is the center of the region of the party. Yeah. <laughs> My firstborn yeah. is calm. Mm. He's collected. Yeah. He's slow. Mm. He's my papa. Mm. Growing up, I'd always say, Papa, the doors. Papa, yeah. the windows. Yes. Do you get so it? Still yes. So I don't know whether that also formed his character, but he's generally a very chilled out. Yeah, also, like his mom's, no, also. Oh my God, no, <laughs> not at all. Absolutely not. Also, absolutely not. Absolutely oh, not. Also, also some, also not some. Yeah, when you are talking here on Bump Club. Yeah. Also, also, <laughs> also sometimes. Also, as the way I talk on Bump Club is the way I talk. But I'm saying also sometimes I'm not calm, but I think my sweetness helps the calm come through um, but as I as we say different stages of our lives but you see like my sons have been through school and university and not once did they think that it would be a good idea for them to step up and get themselves scholarships mm. the last did uh, yes oh. Why though? without girl. even from the way she is treated uh, he openly says it. There is no child who makes it easy to pay school fees like Asante. Oh. Is he? Yes. Even the boys, they know. He's like, okay. I love my boys, but there's something about Asante. And even how she helps the boys. process. Get you that get. gender. That gender. You get what I mean? <laughs> the boys have done well. They've achieved. Like now Charlie got a first yes. class in, in, in university. <laughs> yes. But... It is Asante who woke up and decided I am going to apply for a um, scholarship in that school, yes. UWC. United World College. Oh, yes, and well, that's great. where she is right ah. now. I go to the Netherlands, I'm, I've gone to visit her, and next second she's like, Mom, they've invited us to The Hague. So she spoke like in front of a panel yes, of people. I remember. And, well, you yes, know, the Ministry yeah. of Foreign Affairs and Economics yes. saw her and they're like, you know what, she has to come through. My boys are doing very well, but they have not reached us. Asante's oh. level. Do you think that's a gender thing? Do you think? Or a personality? I, I, it must be a personality. Person, but I also, if you think about, now we're talking about the way we have our children. Mm -hmm. I had my boys also at that age and I was when still, you, young and, and you know. With Asante, you are mature. You know, with as, are even Asante says season. that of all the kids, ah, she's the one who has okay. been punished the most. Okay, okay. Mm -hmm. Yet mm -hmm. she's mm -hmm. at the, no. yes, a more work. Mm -hmm. you know, at the, that's the word. <laughs> she's born yeah. at the tail and then you have my Mwisho. Yeah. I have loved that boy. And the more I loved him was the more he was doing the opposite of what his dad wanted. Mm. But guess what? Those kids in the middle, when they wake up and the, yes. the, the switch flips, yeah. 
Wow. I was not telling where the end Oh my goodness. If, if anything, if I'm making a decision or I'm stuck somewhere, yes, yeah. I'll call Papa. But my go to person yeah. is Muisho. I'm like, Muisho, this and this happened. So, what do you. He's like, Mom. But Muisho is like you. Oh, yes. <laughs> <laughs> oh yes, Pumla wouldn't want that, right? <laughs> we love us some wish. <laughs> yeah. Yes, absolutely. Yes. It's amazing how these children's characters are so vivid, even at a young age, because I already see the attention that my middle child wants and begs for. Fata. No, 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 no. Maki, the one who follows Fata, ah. that's a middle child. Oh my God, he really begs for attention. I remember I had him about, that's a real middle child, and I see it already. But did it flip? Because initially I felt like... He's going to flip, and I'll tell you why. Mm. He felt like, before Zara came along, mm. Maki seemed to do his own thing, Dean was quiet, then Fata was the one of Mondavi. Mm. Yeah, he did his own thing, but like he would struggle to get our attention all the time oh. because now my attention was on the girl. I mean, before I've the had girl you arrived. before the girl ar arrived. He was just a last born, a last who born. is a last born, and he came at a time when I was not doing well emotionally. I was going through um, a hard time at, at, at my job. Oh, yes, yes, I was yes. working so hard, I mm. barely had time for him. Yeah. So I was just like, okay, it's three boys let the hustle continue yeah, yeah, yeah. and then now the girl comes in who true. comes the storm yeah. so you get that yeah, yeah the attention seeking started at a very early age yeah so dean it's is the Maki. first the, Maki is the, the name i always forget yeah Maki. Maki. exactly yeah. i know yeah. dean i yeah yeah who knows Mac yeah. Maki? Who knows <laughs> Maki? and yet he's such a sweet, sweet boy he loves me the most out of Yay. all my children, that one I think I've mentioned, Yay. he's the one who will go to the fridge and pick two yogurts, one for you and one for oh him. The rest, no. well, yeah. we don't know. We don't That's know. your Who's life. Man? It's will always be Who's my key. Man? He's always, and now I'm not a touchy person. I don't like being touched. Yeah. He yeah. wants to always so touch me. Yeah. So sometimes I find myself chasing him away. Then I remember, okay, this is his love language. I have to keep him close. Yeah. But this year, yeah. I have to be very intentional. Like I said this year, please be intentional on showing this boy love. Yeah. So oh, even okay. if I want or not, I will cuddle him, I will hug him, I'll show him love. Yeah. Because he's begging, like he's always yearning for that attention. But he didn't get it when he, he didn't get it. <laughs> and because he's a middle child, typical of a middle child, yeah, that boy is smart. Yeah. Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. He's the best well. in his yeah. class. Yeah. Yeah. And I know he's yeah. going to continue to achieve yeah. because he's focused. You don't tell him to do his homework. Yeah. He does it and I brings for you to commit. Typical, typical yes. Typical and and he, he's in top typical. class right now, but the teacher will say, I have nothing to say about your child. He's the best. Wow. He will read out his sentences very well. Like he's focused, like there's something about him that shows excellence and i know that he will excel yeah. yes yeah. amen yeah amen. so dean of course is a typical typical quiet reserved but bambi i don't raise them that same For i disturbed sure. dean more yeah. because of course now he's older he'll do things in a more proper faster. way faster yeah. like now i do disturb this it's, it's easier, easier for me for so the other day he was complaining it's like every time i come in your prayer Yes, to do this do this <laughs> Maybe every time i come to your bedroom you're sending me so i was like hey okay Okay, I'll be sending the rest. <laughs> oh. So that I, I can, you know, balance it off a bit. But I, typical big-headed, cantankerous. <laughs> <laughs> to get him, wash the dishes, even just his homework. Yeah. His, yeah, everyone else, like I left today, I had told everyone else to do their homework. Even Zara did her homework, she did her shedding. Oh. It's only for time in the whole house who hasn't done his homework. He will do it. And I'm at but that second level. Born children. Second so born. Show. Second yes. born. Yeah, here we are. Yeah, second so I'm at a level of calm where yeah. I just talk. Okay, so you said you would not do, yeah. yeah. Uh, tomorrow, if we have somewhere to go, like you're the only one we are leaving. We are leaving you because you're not ready. Yeah, natural. you're not ready. <laughs> so tomorrow, everyone else, we are going. Yeah, and then Zara. Zara has a character. Fire, Fire cracker. <laughs> Ten one one zero zero point eight. <laughs> that girl, like I'm she amazed. Knows what she wants. You yeah. tell Maki do this. She's like, no. Switch off the TV, mommy. She will jump out of her bed <laughs> even when she's dozing. <laughs> they have. Who does that? The girl has 
Lugezi. <laughs> tell everyone. She, I call her now my assistant. <laughs> call her sister Ted girl. <laughs> do the job. When I tell, because now she knows the routine. You wake yeah. up, brush your teeth. Do uh, you know, babe? Let choke out when her she hasn't. <laughs> she will be in her bed telling the rest. Go and change your teeth. You brush your teeth. I said brush. <laughs> that girl. Oh my God. Did you pray before you eat? I said pray. Pray. <laughs> you on your tap. Put it down. I said eat. <laughs> You guys, right, Zara, a first born in girl. Yes. First born girl. So clearly, it doesn't matter when they are born. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Deputy, yeah. Deputy, yeah. deputy, she'll go and do the dishes. Like, it's not a problem. Housework, housework. Yeah. Let me small clean. Small, small, small <laughs> housework cleaning. The other day, she was pouring water all over the, my, my bathroom. Now she's cleaning. Clean. Yeah. Yeah, she was pouring the water so she yeah. can clean. Cleaning. Because, yeah. like, Matu has asked you to clean. No, thank you. And I get my She's the one everything. You know, it's so funny. Like now, I so I have two, right? So I have a firstborn and a lastborn. Oh yeah, okay. Yeah. yeah. Then I have a first boy and a first girl. You understand? Yeah. Oh, yeah. The dynamic. Yeah, yeah, the dynamic. Yeah. So, cause now I have be so the the sibling rivalry is high. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. For sure. Because you have an a real first born then you have the yeah. first girl yeah. 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 you can understand that drama ah, but I, let's wait that conversation we need a show on sibling mm. rivalry mm. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yes. no we'll do no yeah. let we me not empty, but let me let me let me share with you and i've i've found a place where i'm now telling them you're both right you're so both you right. need you're, you're both, both right, right. So. you see where yeah. you see zara shouting ah, no, 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 no. i said zara please manage yourself <laughs> manage your who yes, yourself so. also you manage yes, yourself <laughs> And I keep because I, in my mind, I'm actually realizing that, yeah, this one is the firstborn. He's working out his firstborn role. True. This one is working out her first First girl, girl role. role. Mm. So they are yeah, both, both move, right. move yeah, on your own. Oh, so it's so funny. Yes, yeah. yes, yeah. yes closing yeah. age. Ah, it's hard. Yeah. 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 It's hard. <laughs> but but she's, she's always speaking on the last two D. No, she knows she, there's a <laughs> level of respect. <laughs> <laughs> she's always speaking on the last two. Yeah, she knows there's a level. Of, <laughs> hey, <laughs> she's something. She she's she's something. Ladies, this has been a very interactive show. I want all of you out there to get into our DMs and fill them up with comments. And whilst you're at it, please do pass by the Golden Tulip. We are shooting the show from the beautiful Golden Tulip that is located in the center of Kampala on 12B Kafu Road. Golden Tulip is a four-star hotel that um, provides comfort to both business and leisure travelers. And every Sunday, there is a scrumptious buffet served at the pool deck. Do come through. Adults are at 90,000 and children an affordable 60,000. Until next time, with love from Bump Love.